the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. I thought that was powerful. And here's where I, I put two CITs in there, Elder. I, I put that other one that said, in God's kingdom, love is above everything. It bears, endures, believes, hopes, all things, and I like this piece in there, never faileth. When we sit there and, and, and and dealt with the neighbor, we dealt with the, uh, uh, the parable of the sower. Everything that that main fruit that that we want to be able to operate in, even when we sow it, is sowing the love of God in our life as we deal with people. And and God is love. I think you said that you know when you alluded to it. The, 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 this is probably the easiest CIT central idea text, but it's the most. It's saying is it's really talking about God. It's yes. About yes. God. It is a concept. It is a concept that that is so so complex. It's beyond comprehension. Yeah. But it's so simple it's that so you can simple. experience it. You know, you can experience it, but you can't really explain it. It's almost like saying, "What is wind?" You know, what, is, what is air? You know, what, hey. it, it, it's there. You know, it's there. You know, it's working, but you can't really put your finger on. It. If somebody asks you to define it, yeah. and nobody ever. It never. If you look through scripture, scripture never defines love. Yeah, it, it, you know, it, it, it tells you what it is. It tells you God is love, but it doesn't tell you what what what. It doesn't tell you to define it. To you. It tells you how it manifests, but it doesn't tell you what it is. Exactly. And, 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 exactly. I, and, I, and, and, and it, it's, oh, excuse me. <laughs> it's the re, only thing I can break it down to is the regenerative feedback that makes eternity a reality. A reality. It, eternity it, it, is a reality because this love is yeah. constantly feeding back into you. Yeah. It's constantly causing you to, it, it's like the ever ready bunny on, plugged into the wall. Or, hooked into the solar system or something like that. This is a, when we talked about it, because we all did the BED thing down in uh, Houston and all that, but so we know about regenerative feedback in the electrical circuit. This thing, this, whatever this phenomenon is called love, is constantly feeding back into the person that it's affecting. Isn't yeah. it? That's why, so your your enemy is, is, is on a path of destruction, but here you are feeding back into them so, so that they don't end up dead or dying or de degraded. And this is at your own cost. This is at the, the, the Jesus on that cross wouldn't help Jesus. He was helping us. Yes. It, it attained him to it, it helped him. It, he attained to a position of prowess over us. He was given dominion and, and, and rulership and lordship over us. But it was at the total sacrifice of self. Of self. So it was him pouring into us his enemies. Yes. This is it. While we were yet in our sins, the Father sent the Son to die for us. Come on. So there was nothing. There was nothing right about us that caused him to do what he did. Mm -mm. And I'm sitting there. I'm looking at the thing. And I'm saying, man, this is craziness. Because I'm saying, oh Lord, you remember when we were coming into the civil rights uh, movement? Yeah. And we looked at the the old ones. You know, the older people in our in our, in our communities, black people, older black people, and saw the relationship with the, the, our white brothers and we perceived to be our antagonists. And we were calling it Uncle Tong and Mammies and you know, like, and, and we it was denigrated because uh -huh. they show respect, love, and, uh, and honor these people. We we cast doubt on them. We, we cast them down. We, we throw them down. We denigrated them because we thought they were stupid. You yeah. know, like how you gonna go out there and love this white man? You know, white man got you over here, slave, the white man, the white man. But these people were genuine had genuine affection and affinity for you people. They yeah. raised a lot of them. Uh huh. And all oh, that yeah. we could gain out of that was the fact that, w was that they was mammoths and, and Uncle Toms and, you know, but these people were just playing what Christ had dictated in the scripture. Yeah. yeah. Bless them that curse you. 
Pray for them that despitefully use you and persecute you. The Sermon on the Mount was made manifest in these people's lives. The Sermon on the Mount made manifest in Christ's life. Yeah. Love itself was demonstrated in those behaviors. Yes, sir. But, and it was effective. It, it really was effective. It was edifying to the people that it was, it was targeted to. It was edifying to the folks who were targeting it. Because when love works, it works not only toward the object, but it also works toward the, 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 the vehicle that, I, that, that is you know, being channeled through. Exactly. It's like a water hose. A water hose cleans the hose out as well as the car that you're aiming the water towards. So on, bro. love on. working in us is a regenerative is a regenerative uh, 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 experience. It is. It's yeah. powerful. You benefit from it. It's powerful. And it is extremely powerful. Yep. Come on, man. I tell you, brother, I said, uh, and as, a, as Bishop just showed up, Bishop, uh, we, you know, we were talking about the uh, First Corinthians 13, and, and we we're spinning off into the fact of how everything really wraps around. Uh, the script I put down here, this is the... Uh, I was telling them how we, we talked Thursday. Uh, I put down the, 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 the scriptures, uh, 1 Corinthians 13, 1 through 13. And I, I put the two CITs that I had up there uh, with the uh, notes where I'm coming from. And I told them, I said, when we approach scripture, because we're going to go into it, and, 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 I, and I like what was going, Elder, but I want to see what, what this had to say. We are talking about the fact is that I, I approached this one to where uh, we want, and I think Brother Addison said it was the challenge of doing a central idea of text. And, and I, I wanted to stay true to form on this one, where you, like you said, where's everything that you say in that text you should refer within the scripture that you're going to, right? In other words, you're pulling everything out of the, the, the scriptures in there. Uh, and this is what I put down here for the central I, I, uh, ideas of the text. Uh, in God's kingdom, love is greater than hope and faith. And it bears, endures, believeth, hope is all things and never failing. All that came out of Brother Asin, out of the, uh, like you talk, we talked earlier, came all out of those scriptures, the 1 to 13. What is the central theme of the scriptures? And then the second one I put in there is, in the kingdom of God, love is above everything. It bears, once again, I put this back in there again, it bears, endures, believes, hopes, all things, it never fails. And then I put the note that, that coincide with that, uh, issue with the fact that God, when we talk about love, God is love. And, and we put down in 1 Corinthians 4, I mean, 1 John 4, 8, either love is not, nor is not God, for God is love. And then 16, and we have known and believed the love that God has to us. God is love, and he that dwells in love dwells in God, and God is him. And and before I go any further for you to take a look at it, Elder Johnson, I was looking at this going back to what we just did, right? Uh -huh. with, the, mm -hmm. with the Good Samaritan. Uh -huh. uh, and what we said Thursday night, Brother Isaac, we said Thursday night, the, we talked about it Sunday before. What? is the whole root of that story of the good samaritan he was talking about what eternal life right but it was that's what the man asked him quote well how do what was i do to inherit eternal life and i and i when i put back up here again what the fact is it is written in the answer that said thou shalt look at that back to love again because we still talking about love right look at the commandment that god gave to even the children of Israel. And it is a, see, I, we, we, I think El, this we were talking about the other day, we said that those two great commandments are basically the CIT of the 10 commandments, which is to love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and all thy mind and all thy soul and all thy strength and with all that mind and then in my neighbor as thyself that goes back to the central context of the of the uh, first corinthians 13. it's all about love amen it ain't nothing else god is love and that's why we said is that that if we understand if we even look at what i got to understand is to tie god in and god 
equals love. Love equals God. And those things that people do in love does bears, endures all things. We're talking about the guy who burnt himself. We're talking about the fact that everything that Christ did 2,000 years plus is all based in the foundation of love itself. Yep. When you remember a teacher, you most teachers remember more than anything else of the teacher that showed love toward you. Yep. When you remember about your parents, it's, it's all about the love that they had toward you. Huh? And, and and I think what we did with the civil rights movement, it was all based on the fact of remember his movement. What his movement was about? It was a nonviolent movement, right? Because yeah. so and, and yet that movement is is still resonating today. Right, hey, because love love is still there. Love, see, see, love, see, you can't endure it all things. You can't even politicize love. When, you, when, when people do it, when, when we say those different words, like we say Black Lives Matter, they're trying to politicize that because now they want to sit and say, well, you, when I hear it, I hear that you matter and I don't, right? But, but when we sit there and say, love, you know what? That movie could have been this. <laughs> the title could have been out of this. Love matters and i think what you said i said love matters i said it, instead of saying black lives matter if we say love matters you you freezing up on what I you're freezing yeah you're freezing up on mine too yeah i see you can you hear me brother Addison? yeah i can hear you I, I, can, I can hear you now did I freeze up on you too? No. Mm, I don't think so. Okay. It was just, well, when you froze, I, I, I guess I froze on you too, but you were frozen. And, uh, it looked and like you, right, you gave the, the other title for that. You said it could have been entitled, it's not Black Lives Matter, matter, but what? Love Matter. Love Matter. Yeah, I agree. I, yeah. Think that, I think that would have been even more powerful. Love Matter. Well, and right now the thing is the, the, the leveling of the, of the playing field has to be that because that's that was the foundation of the move of God initially. Come on, brother. Come but on. God so loved the world <laughs> that He gave His only begotten Son. He didn't give it to black folks only, the white folks only, or the Asians or Hispanics only. He gave it to the world. He gave he it to gave the it world. To so the love, the love of God, and you know the thing that's really beautiful is endureth all things. On, At the man. end of the day, that's all going to be love. Yeah. I mean, all of our loyalties and all of our high-minded ideas and all of the great things that we want to be and do are going to fade away. They're going to fail. Exactly. But the love of God will endure, and then it's going to be a thing that causes us as a species, even, as a, uh -huh. as a creation, to sustain solely because of the love of God. Come on, man. Nothing I, else. Nothing, nothing else. else. Nothing else. It's going to be Grandma hugging you around the neck. Come on. Not all the degrees and all the things that we were accomplished and all the you flown to the moon and stuff, but when you get back there, it's gonna be grandma waiting on you to hug you, right? And that's what that's what really means something. I mean, and I've done it, you know, up to this point, you know, like how I need we're gonna do this and we're gonna be this great people on That's crap. That's a bunch of garbage. I mean, at the end of the day. Uh, we, pro he lost, we lost him for a second. He's coming back. <laughs> Barack was still born with the president. But I've been making this business and let somebody know that he didn't love him. That's uh, <laughs> his bandwidth. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I, I'm sitting here thinking about this. And um, basically, this 13th chapter of 1 Corinthians is basically explaining the nature of jesus christ yes sir here on earth yes, sir. and uh and the possibility for us mm. to walk to, to walk that walk yes sir uh and i can't see anything outside of that i'm, I'm you know not right now uh -huh. uh, while meditating on this this scripture right. um 
it's just fascinating me how, you know, obviously it's it's God's nature, uh-huh. and uh, but that's all I can I can come to the conclusion yeah. that that's just that's Jesus nature yeah. here on earth. Come on, it is. And, and you know, I <laughs> go ahead. Jesus' nature in the heavens. And, and, but see, you know what? Just Jesus' nature. You know, you guys, the manifestation of love. Yes, he says, sir. He is the manifestation of the invisible God. God is love. It yeah. is so powerful. Love it is. is powerful. You know, that's why I pulled out of that, man. I thought when you're talking about the central theme of the day, I demand, and you know, I was looking at the fact is that love is greater than all things, that's greater than faith and, and hope. What I what I really pull out of it is it bears, endures, believes, hopes all things and never fails. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, man! Of all the things that that, that that when you when we read this thing, we're looking at it and the fact is that like but as a pull out is like like burn and I burn myself, right? You know, I, I think about it. He said is that you it doesn't matter. There's no love behind it. Yeah. You can do all exactly. this things, exactly. right? You yep. go run your plane into a building. If there's no love behind it, it has no enduring effect. Not a bit. No. There's nothing Zero. <laughs> laid up in heaven <laughs> for it. For it. Exactly. It has no value in heaven. Oh, None. Perfect. Yeah. The, the all the things that people do, you, if you talk about from, from, from a racist perspective, uh, it has no enduring effect, and that's why people try to use different names when when, when you know when we come up with uh, uh, like now we got in the political divide in this country. You got people saying, "Well," and, and, and to the point where they hate one another. Yes. Right. By by just using different names, one name is called. Being a socialist, right, in, in a jihad, to the point where he had, uh, I guess, Miss Green, whatever name, Green Tail or whatever name is, said that she compared wearing a mask. <laughs> Look, we politicized the, the protection of, 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 of trying to not spread the disease to, to, she said, Nazi, being a, you know, the Holocaust. And, and he says, like, how do you, how do you, how did you compare that to the Holocaust? Did y'all, did y'all hear that this week? I didn't hear it. I missed that. You didn't? You didn't? Did you hear that, Brother Addison? What was that? When, when uh, that the, the Congresswoman said about the, the force of word of mass in Congress. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? But, but what, what they try to do is take it out. They try to pull it, you know, take it out of context. They try to take it way out of context to put it in a perspective where people sit there and say, I hate these Democrats because they, you know, we got to give them titles, right? We got to give them titles, socialists or something like that. Yeah. And, and they try to do it to Jesus, right? The, the Pharisees, they, they, you know, they when a man was born blind, <laughs> and what did he do? The, the guy said, we know he's a sinner. And the guy said, sinner or not. <laughs> oh, they know that we're blind. <laughs> all I know, I, I, all I know is that I was once blind. <laughs> but now I see, I see the love what he did for me, right? Yeah, right? man, now you preach. And, 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 now you preach. You know here? Jesus, when he, he, everything he did was motivated by love, and love endures and bears all things. Even Brother Asim growing up to Memphis, it was, it was, you see what I'm saying, brother? It has a different meaning of going out there for vacation. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It, it has a, it has a value to it. Uh, that, 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 that I'm coming up here for a purpose. Mm-hmm. I'm coming up here for, for belief and a hope and expectation. Even when you sit there and pray, even if you lay hands on someone, if you do it based on love, not based on self-identification. <laughs> what? I, huh? Hey. I, yeah. there's, there's, there's no photo. There. There's no God there. There's and, no God. And that, that's what I was looking at. The absence of love, there's no God involved. In so yes, when you witness somebody, 
even the, even even preaching the gospel done outside of Lord. Look what he said. How can they preach these they be sent? Come on now. If the Lord God ain't sending you, you just Woo! have to talk. I mean, oh.